Welcome back to the Big T Life. Today, we're gonna to take a look at my truck camper canopy. Okay, I wanna to talk to you about the different items I have that puts my canopy together. Um, the first thing, of course, is what the canopy is made out of. And this is, this is just a cheap tarp that I got from Harbor Freight. I think what it is is a nine by 12. It really doesn't matter too much. You don't want to, you don't want one that's 30 by 50 because you can't be able to deal with it, but just big enough to get over your truck. And you'll see that later when I get it set up about how far it needs to come out or how wide it needs to be. Um, and then the next thing, most important item, are the poles that I have that holds up the corners of the canopy. And I made these out of a PVC pipe and it's made out of two pieces. There's a, the outer part here is one inch uh, PVC. And then the inside, I've got a three quarter inch PVC. Take this uh, clip off so you can see how it extends out. So what I did was in the three quarter PVC, I uh, just drilled some holes. And then I have one hole drilled all the way through in the one inch. So when I'm setting my height, I can put this uh, clip in there. And then that'll adjust the height. I found that there are times when I really need to drill me some more holes just so I can extend it up higher, but generally this works just fine. Then on the top of it, I put a cap and then in, inside that cap, I drilled a hole and ran a screw up through it with a nut on top of it. And then that's what goes through the grommet of my tarp in the corners to hold it out. So that's worked really good and it's cheap. So then I ordered on uh, Amazon, I got uh, uh, some guy lines, some tent stakes, just ordered a, you know, pretty inexpensive little kit that you can get on there. Uh, so we'll need those. And then also, I think I got these from Harbor Freight. These are some clamps that I use on top of my truck that attaches the tarp to my rails on top of the truck. From there, um, these are just some little extras. You're gonna see how I use, use these pads to protect my tarp by just installing it up on the corners of my uh, topper window. All right, those are the pieces and now we're gonna put it together.
So I noticed after I got through setting the canopy up, I had this piece was laying on the ground. You may have seen it fall out. I didn't. But um, what it is, it's a piece of pipe insulation. That's all it is. And the reason I use it is I want it to cover this sharp point that's there on my, my window of the topper camper. And I put it over there so if my tarp comes down on that point, it won't cut through it. So you saw that I had on here, um, laying here with some of the other supplies that I was using with some Gorilla Tape. And that's actually why I have it there. So I, when I was putting it together, I should have stuck that on there, took me a little piece of Gorilla Tape to hold it in place like this. Now it wouldn't have fallen off. Something else that you may have noticed that I didn't talk about were these bungee cords. And that again came up because the reason I came up with that was because if I don't have them on, and this is up, because it's gonna push all the way up, which is, which is okay, and when I install the canopy and it's up like that, it's all nice. But when I go in for the night and I wanna get in here to sleep and I close the window, then the top of the can canopy will collapse down. And I really wanted it to be tight all the time and be in the same position. When I open the window, it's, it's tight. Or if it's closed, it's tight. So I just put these on here to control how far my window goes up. So now I have the tarp attached to the crossbar and it's tied out to my guy lines and the adjustable poles. Okay, so I have the canopy all up, but as you can see, they're pretty tall, about six foot tall, and this is a little low, so I'm always having to walk around in here bent over. So I'm gonna raise them up a little bit and, and show you how that I use the adjustable poles to uh, try to fix this a little bit. Okay, so I raised the canopy up to try to give me a little more headroom when I'm underneath. And you can see this is just right at my height. So honestly, I could um, try to do some more adjustments to this by drilling some more holes into the internal pipe. And that way I could extend it up even higher above my head and nothing to that. It just wouldn't take me but a minute and I could make some adjustments to get this canopy over my head. But this is good. This works fine when I come, I come in to go work on my, if I'm cooking right here or just sitting under there, that works out pretty good for me. The other thing that I did was I, I take a bungee cord and attach it to this corner and then attach it down here to my rim or I can attach anywhere on my truck under the fender 
But what that does is just keep this a little tighter so if the wind's blowing, it's not blowing up out of the way. So that's a real good adjustment there to keep everything tight and under control. Anytime you're camping, it's always nice to have a little extra shelter and there's no reason to spend a lot of money to do that. And I think I've shown this here. I've used this shelter, this canopy for, I would say at least three years now I've had it out and haven't changed a thing about it. So it's held up to some pretty good wind that I've been in, uh, some rain and it's just been really nice. So. I hope that this helps you to make your campsite a little bit better. And these are the videographers. <laughs>